everybody. Hi, Internet. Happy holidays. Uh, yeah. We're thrilled to be here. We're yeah. be taking questions yeah. that you yeah. have for the two questions of us. Questions from the people. Yeah. We're very excited that you actually uh, the common uh, logged on. We know that we're competing for your Internet dollar, and uh, thank you for showing up. We appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess uh, if they want to ask us a question, what do they do? Where do they go? They, uh, they on Twitter, you can write the ha uh, hashtag AskMenOfMom. Yeah, AskMenOfMom. So you're, you're on Twitter. You're on the Internet. You know, you're driving in your car and you're on your phone. Well, Pull that's over. not suggested. Well, let them drive and text if they All want right. to. All right, that's um, fair. Safety first. Pull the car over. Ask us a question. French. How great of a guy is Nate? Mm. And send that. And at the bottom, put hashtag Ask Men of Mom. So yeah. we'll get to your question. Yeah, and and we understand that men. It's a pretty loose term in this situation because we're just a, a, a couple of mooks. I'm sorry, how do, how do you mean? Well, no. Let's get to the first question. I'm all man. Well, The no. first question. Uh, are you a man, French? I'm all man. Yeah. And thanks for asking. That one's easy to answer. That one's easy. Yeah. yeah 100%. 110% if there's such a thing. That's impossible. Well, let's ask. Let's leave that to the <laughs> mathematicians. Are there any scientists? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There? You can tweet in, too. Um, also, uh, we're open to answer any trivia questions you have. Just mm. general Trivia. Real basic, though. Um, are you not a trivia guy? No. Yeah. I love trivia. I love. I like trivia. Like I'm a. I can't go to like trivia nights at bars because it's just. Oh, yeah, they bring yeah, in the yeah. ringers and it's, it's chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Some some weirdo comes in. Yeah, with a haircut and he, you know he knows who you know the prince of Spain with a and haircut. The, you know what I mean? Yeah, those I trivia get it. haircuts. Trivia guy with a haircut. Yeah, yeah. trivia I haircut. Hate those guys. Well, Gracie asks, how would you describe each other in one word? I'm going to go with inept. Hmm. I appreciate that. That's, a, that's appropriate. Uh, I'm going to go with classless. Mm. Um, you know, when you're working, no matter what the workplace is, no. um, sometimes people are inappropriate and say the wrong thing and just don't understand sort of the temperature of the room. That's You're stupid. What would you say? Hmm? I'm sorry, I was thinking about other things. The next question is oh. from Ra Rachel. Rachel asks, what is something Anna Faris wouldn't want you to talk about here? Wow, Rachel. It's Christmas, and we're, we're trying to take a, a, a shot at our meal ticket. She has six fingers on her left hand. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's completely you correct. <laughs> you checked out some DVR. <laughs> yeah, look at it. Yeah. Look at it. Sometimes it's, they... It's they, so withered, it's like off to the side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she won't yeah. have it removed. Well, they erase it for TV, though, through yeah. the magic of television. They, she wears a little green, like a little piece of green tape for the green screen that's stuff. Right. So and they, then they non-green screen her extra finger. Yeah. All right. Well, that seems fair. I don't know. It's, uh, cat's out of the bag now. Or right. the finger, the dead finger's out of the bag. That's right. All right. Um, it's either uh, Deanna or Diana. My apologies. Do you base your characters on anyone you know? Hmm. Do you? Uh, Margaret Thatcher. No, um, Margaret Thatcher. You're sticking with that. Yeah. More yeah. like just her posture. No, mine is based uh, completely on the words that Chuck Lorre has written for me. I, I don't have any sort of basis of my character. That's pretty much what I do. I, 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 the only reason you know I'm a chef is because I've got a chef outfit. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much, no research was done whatsoever. Yeah. And I apologize to you for that. It's shoddy work. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It's, yeah. it's real. Um, mm -hmm. Vanessa uh, asks uh, for French, uh, do you miss your wife when you go to work? That's my wife asking that question. <laughs> I thought they looked very familiar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you miss your wife when you go to work? Let me tell you something. My wife is wonderful. Mm -hmm. She's a joyous woman. Yeah. The, the, the mother of our daughter. Certainly. Yeah. You're our daughter. She was a surrogate. Oh. No? Wow. I came on incorrectly. Look, long story short. I have no custody of the child. No, no. There's no, we, we're, we're still waiting on blood work. And uh, we'll, we'll get this mixed up, and then we'll change up the name if we have to. Fine. Uh, but long story short, uh, darling, I wish I could uh, shrink you to tiny size mm. so I could put you in my pocket and just keep you there all day long. That would be fun. Right? You have to be very careful, though. Not to smush her. Yeah, yeah. Or get her too close to a leaky pen. Oh, what a terrible thing that would be. That wouldn't be any good. Drowned by pen ink. Yeah, 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 yeah. All purple and trying to take care of our overly sized baby. <laughs> yeah, how does, a, how does a miniature person take care of a full-size baby? Yeah, it was, it was, I was That's a movie. Yeah, Someone should write that good. movie. 
Hey, Bess H asks, yeah. how much do Allison and Anna enjoy working with you? Be honest. I think they have just a general disappointment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it could have been better. Expectations were high. Yeah. I think um, we're known in the Hollywood community as kind, right. you know, nice, generous guys on set. Yeah, we're reasonable, but come show night, we'll yeah. let you down. Yeah, people are disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they had, um, they thought, you know, the first table read of the very first episode, like, these, this is going to be an unbelievable creative experience, and these guys are bringing their own set of tools here, and this is going to yeah. be spectacular. It hasn't. It hasn't been. It's we've like... Let, we've let everyone down. We're, we're, we're barely passing with a C plus yeah. at this point. We, our grade average would not get us into any state school. That's right. Oh, no, no, no. State school. Like that's like, that's, that's this like... This is like a two-year community college. No, Like, no. stay-at-home commute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be Keep Harvard job. for guys like us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no way. I mean, there's no way. And the problem is, is that there just wasn't enough cash to, to get uh, uh, real guys. So. There was, but they just didn't want to spend it. Yeah, cheap. Yeah. All right. No, they like us a lot. Uh, Andrew C. asks, how fun is it to play such a horrible but hilarious character like Chef Rudy? Do you want to take this one, or is that me? I have an answer, but I'll let you give it. Okay, I'll take one. Um, it's great, because uh, uh, I'm an older gentleman, and I can't memorize a lot of lines. And so if you put me, uh, if you give me three horrible things to say, uh... Boom! I do them, and then I'm I'm back to the trailer, you know, drinking, uh, 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 you know, schnapps or uh, yeah, Dr. McGillicuddy's, the mint, you know, the peppermint for the for the <laughs> holidays. Oh, McGillicuddy, oh, McGill take McGill yourself down to a local liquor store, pick yourself up a bottle of the McGill McGillicuddy's. Right. Just it'll warm you up. Wow. Are you speaking directly to children right now, or is that uh, for adults? Because I think we should clarify. Yeah. Take yourself down. Okay. <laughs> they can hear you. They can huh? totally hear you. They can still hear you. Yeah, me. yeah. That's my... Hey, Stella asks, <clears throat> what do you like the most about your character? Yeah. Oh, well, there's so many things to like. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah there really are. The most, the thing that I like most about him is that um, in recent episodes, he's, he's had a little bit more of an edge to him. Um, he's um, not pining for Christy as much and is comfortable... Um, picking on her. Yeah, and occasionally uh, teams up with Rudy to do it. Yeah, 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 which I didn't think this character would do. So that's been fun to see sort of a darker comedic edge that he's he's um, comfortable picking on Christie's character. Yeah, I like that part too. Yeah, I, you know, because he's um, he's cheated on his wife, I think that's so deplorable for an audience to watch. <laughs> I had to get my comeuppance the yeah. first several episodes. Yeah. So I got hit by a car. Um, I ran into a door. That's right. Uh, I got a pie in the face. Mm. Um, it's classic. Yeah. So I, I think the writers were like abusing me in front of the audience because this guy's cheating on his wife. He's a terrible guy. Yeah, yeah. And and the, so the writers, as we go by, you know, like uh, episode to episode, the writers kind of find out what you can do well. And uh, I think they've tapped into this uh, natural state that you have, which is just Abuse. basically a, a, a questionable moral barometer. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So they'll be tapping that endlessly, because that's not going anywhere. I hope so. Yeah. The one thing I don't like about my character is his wardrobe. I don't like his clothes. Why? I, I think his suits, I don't like his suits. You look good in suits. Well, that's generous. Thank you for saying that. I wear a that. ninja outfit, a kitchen ninja that's outfit true. And every you have week. That's true. Black orthopedic shoes you wear. I didn't even meet the wardrobe people until this episode. Right. I walked in and I was like, hi, Cheryl. And she's like, yeah, I'm Gertrude. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> don't give me no lip. <laughs> yeah, don't give me any attitude. Uh, Chef Rudy has a pivotal performance tonight. Um, French is fantastic in Aww. tonight's episode at 9.30 p.m. on CBS. Yes, check it out. Yeah, please um, do. He has some real, real fantastic work that he does. <laughs> right it's, it's not to be missed. So oh, check that you're out. a sweet man. True. You're a sweet man. Please. Hey, Jules S. asks, who is the biggest prankster on the set? Well, there's, a, there's an orangutan that lives yeah. in the stage. Jerry. Jerry the orangutan. <laughs> That's right. He's in the rafters somewhere. No one's ever seen him. Monkey in the rafters. There's a monkey in the rafters. Right, but every yeah. now and then he drops down on a rope and yeah. like, boop. Yeah. It's real weird. Yeah. And things will go missing. Things will be moved. Um, we, that isn't a real thing. Yeah. Uh, no? We don't have a, <laughs> you were really selling it. Well, 
and how, how, how far can you sell an orangutan hanging right, on the soundstage? Fair. That's fair. It is Hollywood. Um, biggest prankster. We don't have really a lot of. Pr- I think it's like early. It's too early in us getting to know each other. I don't know if we're all comfortable enough to like really screw over each other. In no, ways, not really. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you you did a lovely drawing of me. Oh. Okay. He did this beautiful <laughs> pencil drawing of me. Okay. It was very lifelike and realistic. Yeah. Um, certain portion proportions of me were out of size and right. things kind of were mismatched and yeah. And I was it was a nude. It was a nude. Yeah. It's uh, classic. Did you uh, have you got that framed yet? It's not framed, but I have it. I have it in my office. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. It's a special one, but but not so much something you can put up on the wall. Right. It's a private thing. Yeah. But I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah I, I, it's my pleasure. And it's, it's not, yeah, you're right. It's not something that could go on a wall. But it, it could go in like a bookcase or something to mix it up. It's not sure if that works. Well, you know. Maybe. Hey, Don asks, what was it like working with John Cryer? Can you share a story from the set? Ah, I mean, the guy's, you know, he's just a master of, of half-hour multi-camera. I mean, I, I, I've known him for a, a long time, and, uh, you know, I, I, I love him. He's, like, so great. He's so smart about it. He's so fun. And he, uh, when he's directing, he, uh, he gets what it's like to be on the other side of the camera. Yeah. So, so when old man goes crazy and can't remember <laughs> his lines for, like, uh, uh, you know, ten minutes on a show night, he just basically tells you, hey, you know, we got plenty of film. Don't don't worry about it. And so, you know, he's great. And the loveliest, most genuine guy, yeah. only sweet, only kind, yeah. um, in a position to be uh, a jerk because of his success. Oh, he could easily be a jerk. You know, uh, but only sweet and kind and generous. Yeah. Uh, I, I, he was lovely to work. I, I only wish I had more to do that episode because I wanted to interact with him more because... He understands that medium, you know, just as well as sort of Chuck does. They they built that show together, so yeah. he understands where every joke is. Yeah. So I, I trust. I, I didn't know him, but I trusted him. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's just he's he's stupendous. But uh, yeah. I think you didn't have as many lines because uh, uh, he didn't trust you. That's the thing. I, I when we met at the table read, I shook his hand, yeah. and I said. I made eye contact with him, you right. know, and I mouthed something to him. Yeah. But he didn't quite understand. I was like. I, I don't and he was like, I'm sorry? And I was like, don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. And that made him uncomfortable. But usually that's something I do to set people, like, to make them comfortable. Right. And it does, it's never worked. Like a soft handshake and just look at them and yeah, say... a real soft handshake. And just mumble something. <laughs> and just mumble something. And then, like, maybe maybe the handshake turns into sort of a hug that lasts too maybe. long. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Got a new question, though. Oh, oh. Mr. Cordry. Spelled correctly, by the way. This is from at Crispy Stewart. Oh. Thank you, Crispy Stewart. C-O-R-D-D-R-Y. How does it feel to be drenched in the presence of French? Yeah. You know, there was an earlier question, what, what is the word that you would choose to describe? I wanted to go with moist. Because hmm. you, you're like a moist guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, that's what you exude. Like, f- like fertile like and damp. Uh, <laughs> like needs to be toweled off. <laughs> like needs to be dried off. How does it? Bit? But to on, a, honestly answer your question, how does it feel? Uh, uncomfortable. Um, I don't feel um, at ease. I guess sometimes French gets too close. Do you know what I mean? I almost tried to give you the don't, Telemundo right on your don't cheek. Do it. Well, don't, don't put your hand on me. I don't have. I don't have the barriers of space. Don't touch me. If don't touch me, man. Odd. It feels it feels right. v- weird and funny, but good, right, and well. It feels right. Yeah, yeah. Like I should be here. Yeah, yeah. Don't touch me. Huh? No. Yeah. All right. Hey, Ricky B asks, "Dear men of Mom, can either of you do the Gangnam Style dance?" <laughs> Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. What do you Next think we question? do during the day? <laughs> yeah. yeah, every yeah, morning. We both can do it. I get up, I look at myself in the mirror, and I and, and it's... Yeah. Whoosh, whoosh, well, whoosh. I mean, the problem is is that it's probably cutting us off where... And that's where our gangnam lives. Yeah. Like, it's right under here, so... It's like a horse trot. Yeah, you know? so we're doing it right now. Has he... Is he still with us? Who's that? Cy? Oh, yeah. So, what, what do you mean, like living? I heard he passed. Oh, no, you're thinking of Peter O'Toole. I'm so sorry. The great the, Peter O'Toole. That's my mistake. That's yeah. my mistake. Yeah, it wasn't Cy. Cy's still, still... Still with us. Still doing it. Huh? Yeah, 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 wow. yeah, yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Jad says... Jad. Hey, guys, love the show. What's the key to playing a man on a female-dominated show? 
What have you learned about your lady side? Mmm. Mmm. Well, we're back to moist, aren't we? That's private. Yeah. Yeah, that's Jad. personal. So, why don't yeah. you step back? Well, I mean, I personally have learned that the name of the show is Mom. Yes. So just like, yes, it's as advertised. Yep. We come in like Robert Ory and shoot the occasional three off the bench. Exactly. Hit our free throws and get out of the way of yep. mom because that's what it's called. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our, we got good girls, you know. <sighs> Man, do we have good girls. Anna and Allison are, uh, I'm sure that question is coming, but uh, yeah. Anna and Allison are so cool, are so sweet and hilarious yeah. and Wonderful on set and friends. They're just, yeah, they, they are, get along well. There's no so uh, uh, lady on lady crime. No, and that no. Ten, that can happen. That can happen. Where's, that happens. That's my often. powder. Uh, no, that's my powder. Exactly. I hate her. Don't yeah. you hate her? My yeah. dress no. doesn't look good. You're just uh, oh yeah. It can, it can get chaotic. It happens yeah. with men too, but it does happen with women. No, not not them. These two are only loving and supportive of each other. That's so right. Oh man. It's that's a, right. And they can party us under the table. Absolutely. I like that. Those two know how to dance. Um. Jesse asks. Yeah. Oh, uh, do you enjoy the live studio audience, or do you prefer a closed studio? Hmm. 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 I enjoy having a live audience there. Yeah. I like doing live theater. French does lots of live theater. I do. Um, it's a different thing. It's a different muscle. You have to have trust and confidence in yourself that the joke you're about to tell is going to work. Yeah. And you have to sell it. You have to push it a little bit more. Your performance needs to be a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, so you can hit the last row. Yeah. Um, it's fun, though. It's it like, is it's, fun. It's really fun, because you, you get people and their energy uh, wakes you up, because by that point in the week, you're just sleepy and confused. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I am. I'm right. super sleepy, yeah. Right. Uh, and then you sleep. start hearing demons in your head sometimes See, telling you, like, time to kill again, time to kill again. How do you mean? So, we'll just, um, uh, we do that one. Go Emily on. G. Hey, Emily. I like that name. Hi. Where would you like to see Gabriel going? Also, is anything in that kitchen functional? Oh. Well, French is in the kitchen, and he's a functional alcoholic. <laughs> well, I, don't, um, I don't know if functional. That's true. Where would I like to see Gabriel going? I think, um, I'm not sure if Gabriel has any sort of future with Christie's character. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. The longer the season has gone on, I feel like it's no. I feel like they're going to transition from guy chasing girl to hopefully maybe like a friendship. Yeah, yeah. So we can have... Uh, you know, we can sort of turn into uh, friends as yeah. opposed to um, ex-lovers and sort of negotiate that friendship. And so I, 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 I hope what happens as the season progresses and we get to the end is that I develop more of a, like, friendship relationship with Christy. Because Christy's character doesn't have a, f a friend on the show. Yeah, that's true. That's she has, true. She has... Um, like, all the responsibility and uh, everything's aimed at her, but... Uh, yeah. But, yeah, not, not so she much has, a friend. She has ladies from um, AA, but she doesn't have anyone, like, who's a peer who she can, like, talk to. Yeah. You know? That's, uh, that's, that's my hope that it sort of transitions yeah in exactly that way but you never know you never know or, if he, or he could just go the other way and go full on stocky and just yeah. like restraining orders and, and have it get crazy yeah like oh. a very special episode sure special they're all special that's true um uh also uh the kitchen is it functional it's fully functional yeah it's a fully functional kitchen and uh uh a lot of money in that kitchen. It's an amazing kitchen. Like, you can actually cook and everything. It's, uh, you know, it's... The fridge and the freezers all work. There's a pizza oven back there. It's That's... Yeah, the totally ovens are all hooked up, and we actually cook food on there and eat yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty great. That's a legitimate kitchen. It's a big-time kitchen. Yeah, Man. yeah. Uh, Carolyn asks, what dating advice would you give Gabriel? You know what I would... I, will you want to do it? Or, uh, no, please. Lady. I would say move on. Move on, man. It's not going to happen. Yeah. You're a married man. Sort out your marriage. Yeah. Like, maybe, sort it out. Maybe Leave, the, get out. Maybe the best dating advice is uh, stop dating. Yeah. You're, yeah. Yeah. N unnecessary. Yeah. The ring is sort of... Uh, yeah. And um, if you're in an unhappy marriage, get out. Get out. Even if that means losing your job. Like, if you're unhappy in a marriage, why stay? There's no child involved. There's... there's how... 
that we even know if there of. is a child involved, you yeah. negotiate that because you need to take care of number one before you take care of a relationship. Oh, right? that would be really good though. You what? get her pregnant. And she keeps the baby. Wow. So season yeah. two would be her pregnancy. Yeah. Wow. Everybody's everybody's knocked up. We we'll changed the title of the show. Yeah. Everybody's oh, knocked up. Everybody's knocked up. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Matthew asks, how old were you when you got into acting? What was your first role? Oh, um, yeah. hmm. Well, gosh, I mean, the first role that, like, I, well, like, I think we all started probably doing plays or doing some sort of improv or something like that. <clears throat> and so, uh, you know, oh, gosh, man, I'm not even sure what that would have been. But uh, my first paid role was uh, mm. on the new WKRP in Cincinnati. And you know it's good because it's the new yeah. WKRP. Because the old Cincinnati. wasn't good enough. No, no, no. You, you've got to freshen that up. The right. old one was great, but it's musty now. Yeah. The new. Mm. And everybody loved it. How long, how many seasons did that go? Well, it went to, I was on one. I was on the second one. Because mm. I was freshening up the new W. I was the new in the new new. Right. How about you? What was your first acting? My first, um, I started when I was, you know, 10 or 11 doing plays. I have an older brother, uh, Rob Cordry, who's an actor as well. Mm. And so he started doing it. So I saw him do it. And then I saw the pack of girls around him after the senior class play. And I was like, I want some of that action. Yeah. But the first time I got paid was... Um, it was a commercial. I did a, a bite and smile commercial for Pizza Hut, where it's like, <laughs> bite and smile. you know, you, you're like, mm, and you just put it in a spit bucket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, that was the first time I got a check from an agent because nice. I booked a commercial. Yeah. Laura asks, what was the worst job you ever had non-acting? Oh, I got it right now. I used to work at Vaughn Supermarket Ooh. when I first got to California. And part of my job was uh, they had these big trash, like, bins full of uh, uh, rotted vegetables and stuff that had gone bad, but like there was just like you too much of them? it. Well, my job was to put on like fishing waders oh, and no. get on top of it and jump up and down oh, on, on the garbage so that they could put more garbage in. Oh. That's 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 how I made my bread and butter. That is that's bad. It's not good. That's <laughs> it's not, that's real bad. It's not where you want to be. It's not a career. It's a job. Um. I washed dogs for the summer. <laughs> uh, I got paid in cash, two dollars a dog. Pick up the dog, throw it in the big tub. It's hard, hard snapping. I need to push the dog. <laughs> throw the soap on. Oh, dog man. snapping. I got to dry him off. Like, yeah, yeah. Didn't matter what size the dog was. Two bucks a dog. Two bucks a dog. So you, if you have little dogs, still like two or three of them at once. You know, and they're fighting and biting each other. And you so you could just knock on. out three little ones, but you don't want to do like a mastiff. No. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. So yeah. that takes like twenty minutes. That's not. Yeah, that's. that's that's probably just more bad time management. No, you know the uh, um, the worst ones to dry are um, cocker spaniels. Oh sure, because they just get going, right? Yeah, well their their hair is like really really tight, like yeah. but it's but there's a lot of it. Yeah, so you gotta run. They're also the, we we had one at one point and they're as dumb as a sandwich. Dumb dogs. Cocker yep. spaniel. Yeah. Dumb. We had one when, I, when I, before I was born. My mom and dad had one, and they said it was just like it it put its pee everywhere. Yeah. That's um, another thing. Renee H. asks, hey, Renee, was this the first time you guys worked together? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right. It was. As actors, anyway. We Hopefully had, the last. We had that other... Hey. You. Why? Huh? Da. Did we lose line? No. no um, Stroking. That's me having a stroke. <laughs> Just have a little stroke. This is the first time we worked together. Yeah, yeah. we have friends in common. Yeah, we have friends in common. and. Um, um, uh, but yeah, but this is the first time that we've... Yeah. 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 Well, well, that, that's... I hope to not spend time. much time with French socially. No, 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 no. No, I mean, I don't want to hang out, like, if we're not getting paid to do it. Or, yes, yes. I guess that's the that's the main thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Thank you. All right. Um, Catherine asks, who makes you break character? No one. I'm a professional. No. Yeah. I'm a master. Mm. No one. Yeah. French. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Pretty much everybody gets you one point or another, you know. Yeah. Even, even Blake, the kid, he'll 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 get you. He'll you know. Absolutely. Everybody will, you know. Spencer too. Spencer Daniels. Yeah, Spencer to get you. Uh, man, is he good on the show? Yeah. He's so good. He is terrific. He plays Luke on the yeah. show. The um, 
stoner boyfriend. Yeah, to, with um, long hair, handsome guy. Such a great guy. He plays guy. smart, dumb, really yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, and that's a hard thing to do convincingly. Yeah, and if I looked like that, and I was his age, and I was making TV money, oh my God. Look out. I would go lady crazy. I'd be all like, look yep. at this. Exactly, yeah. Boom. You need me to take my shirt off? I'll do it. I'll do it anyway. Yeah, I'll do it anyway. I'm doing it whether you like it or not. Yeah, yeah. President I, of the am, bank. Why am I even asking, <laughs> yeah. Starbucks barista? Yeah. This thing's coming off. <laughs> this thing's coming off, Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Catherine asks. Oh, no, we just did Catherine. Hey, you know, calm down, Catherine. Yeah. <laughs> we answered the question. Yeah. Tina uh, asks. Tina. Yeah. Uh, what mom character would you play if not your own? That's a great oh. question. Oh. Whoa. I would be mom. I would be. I would be Bonnie. Oh, would you, yeah. Would you would be play, a good Bonnie? Yeah. Thank you. Maybe one week, Allison will let me take it for a Sub drive. in for a little. Yeah, put the take wig it on. For a drive. Take you know? Bonnie for a drive. Yeah, I think I'd be a great Bonnie. I think you'd probably be a pretty good Bonnie. Bonnie has buckets and buckets of of. Um, every episode, she has ten fantastic zingers. I mean, she's and and yet she's also able to play because it's Allison. Janney, a uh, four-time Emmy Award winner, yeah, by the way, right. in drama. Um, she's able to play the really true, like, heartbreaking stuff as well, like a couple weeks ago when she had her relapse, the relapse episode. Yeah. Allison Janney was doing work. Yeah, she's People, fantastic. Oh she keeps God. and She keeps everybody honest, because, like, if, if, if you do a scene with her, she'll yeah. expose you no, there is, has to. Uh, there isn't, a, a, like, a better actress working right now. No. I, 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 honestly, she's, she's one of, like, the greats. She's, she is one of the greats. She's, like, you know, she's like the, the, the Kobe Bryant of acting. Yeah. Uh, Laker great. Lakers, up top. <laughs> Nothing? Wow. Which leads into our next question. I'm a Celtics fan. Nate, can we hear your Boston accent? Ha. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, if uh, I don't have it anymore personally because I've lost it because I need to have a neutral accent to, to act. But whenever I go home, I have like three or four beers with my friends from high school, college, whatever. <laughs> like you're just drinking beers, hanging out with your friends, getting fights, you know. Um, Tommy Barker. Tommy Barker. <laughs> Mark McGilvery, Mark Sinabaldi, Bobby O'Sullivan, Tommy O'Sullivan. Danny, Donnie, uh, uh, all, uh, Joe McIntyre, all the new kids on the block, <laughs> Robert Parrish, Kevin McHale. A couple of hacks. I'm just pushing. I'm just saying ridiculous. Chowder. Yeah, no, um, chowder. Yeah, like in tonight's episode, I have to like whip out a Boston accent, and Nate coached me relentlessly, and I, I, I still couldn't do it, man. Yes, you could. You pulled oh. it off. Oh. It's a hard accent to do. Oh, man. It's, but, so, uh, it's so great. You think you're it doing was, it right until you hear Nate do it, and then it's like... Well, oh, no, it, it was also disgusting until Good Will Hunting came out, and then girls would ask me to do it. Wow. They're like, can you talk in the accent? I'm like, eh. yeah, sure. <laughs> what do you want me to say? You know? <laughs> like, all of a sudden it became this, like, charming thing to have a Boston That's accent. Because right. before... It was not shot. Nobody would. No. <laughs> it was horrible. It was horrible. No. <laughs> um, Jasper, you asked the Boston accent. Enough, question. Jasper. Enough. Um, Mag Daly asks, okay, guys, favorite holiday movie and why? Go. Oh, oh. Wow. Too late. Uh, 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 go. Oh, the pressure is. You, too, you the, blew it. I think it's the way My, you're doing it, though. <laughs> go! <laughs> no, it's like, mm. I, I can't. <laughs> uh, oh. All right, well, uh... Scrooged. Okay. Scrooged is... That's pretty good. Bill Murray is awesome in that movie. Yeah, Bill Murray is great oh, in that movie. so good. Uh, man, I like Grinch Who Stole Christmas. Yeah, that's really good, too. I mean, you know, I mean, now you look at it and it's like, oh, wow, it's, it's like odd to see it because animation's come so yeah. far, but, yeah. uh, but, but I like it, you know. For, like, a sweet one, I like White Christmas. White Christmas is nice. White Christmas is great. Love Actually is kind of nice. Yeah. Never seen it. You cuddle up. You have don't We have a little cocoa together. With who? You and me. I don't want to do that. Nah, it's going to be great. I'm busy. No, look, we're going to have like a little uh, uh, afghan over our legs to right. keep us nice and toasty, like, right. like Roosevelt did. Well, he was... He, had, ah, he couldn't walk. Bad. Yeah. Well, where would you want to go? You're watching Love Actually. I would want to go in the other room. <laughs> you just wheel it on out? Yeah. Uh, Andrew F. asks, what are your holiday family traditions? Any big plans? 
Ah, well, I've got big plans because I've got uh, a five-month-old baby, and so we're going uh, oh, back I to love. see my family uh, and and her family, who's uh, her family lives in uh, uh, Louisiana, and we're going to get everybody there: her family, my family, baby, and we're going to have. Uh, giant party we're also taking a baby on the plane for the first time and that's gonna bum out you, everybody no it's not it's a baby it's a baby what are you, what are you gonna do they're babies I know. babies want things I know. they want to be fed they want attention they want love they're gonna cry like yeah, they're gonna cry you gotta give if you're on a plane from from the men of mom right if you're traveling this holiday season and there's a crying baby on your plane leave it be give it a break be patient it's a baby it's a baby they don't know psychos yeah what's wrong Not with you, you the other one yeah the guy behind yeah that guy's a psycho yeah look behind you <laughs> <laughs> um uh, well hey uh that's it yeah uh, thank you so much for your questions uh we really appreciate it it's been a good time i thank you for your uh time here with me I appreciate yeah. your patience. Yeah, yeah, no, it, good it, man. It, it took some. Uh, Mondays at 9.30 on CBS, check out Mom. That's uh, right. French is in it, I'm in it. That's and right. And some other people, but yeah. they're not important. We're like, we're like doing samples like you get at the supermarket. Mm. Like, try Mom tonight. Yeah. If you don't like it, you don't have to buy the full Mom package, but we would like you to. Take it for a spin, I think you'll like it. Yeah, it's a good show. Yeah. All right, thank you. Happy holidays. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.